All right, today we're gonna bring a two drawer file cabin and pretty much it's a very heavy box. It's almost 50 pounds, so just make sure you do it together with somebody else. Now putting it together is very simple. Instructions are included with it. You are gonna need some tools. We'll let you guys know what it is after we completely open it up. So let's open it up and see how it looks. All right, so we're putting the file cabin together and it's very simple to set up the legs. Now, just to let you guys know, the assembly kit came together already with the actual rail here. So that's one thing that you don't have to worry about lining it up or anything else. All the screws and also Phillips was included in here. Everything's well labeled. That's how we found out this is A and the next one was B. And if you guys can see, they all have letters on it. So it's making it easier to install and put together. So right now, this is step number one, just to put the feet in place. And they're gonna keep doing step by step. So let's go ahead and continue. All right, now this is C, C. You gotta put it together and marry them together and screw it in, so. Okay, so this is the back that we just built the CNC and we're gonna do the back and then we have to screw it in the bottom. So we're gonna do that. All right, we're gonna put the piece D now and this is very simple. It just slides in there and it locks in. So you can see that. All right, once we get the top on, you gotta put eight screws on there, all right? Eight screws go on the system. It's very important on those steps. You have to unlock it first, twist it, all right? Keep twisting that all the way, make sure it's locked, unlocked, and that's perfect. Once we have that, we're gonna do the left one up, that one all the way up. Okay, that's that's it. That's and then it. the right one. Okay. And then that's it, that actually unlocks it. But that's a little difficult, they make it sure you understand. This is, the, this is E right here, the face, all right? We're actually facing out. And this piece goes into this piece here in the bottom. It's like one of these right here, but you have to push it back. So we're gonna open these right now in a bit. We're gonna open them. And then, not too much, not too much. And then what you wanna do is line it up on the actual piece itself. So, you gotta set it up. Yeah, set it up in there, yeah. Piece two, like this. Have to push it back. Make sure it bends back. All right, this is the back end. And it locks in place. Just make sure it locks. Okay push it now this is very important guys this part right here has to be on the top and then the actual inside if you guys can see this is the inside that we have to make sure it locks All right this is the crossbar that we're going to set up if you guys can see this is how it looks the the last part is out it has to go in here right All right, so now this one, we're gonna actually marry the both system together. And there's a couple of hooks that you should be aware of. They're right there. And I'm gonna show you guys how we drop them in here. This. this is the little hook right here, if you guys can see that. They hook up in there and they just fall. Make sure they hook and it goes completely all the way up. There you go. There's that. Once you lock them in place, make sure you do this. This is necessary. They have to snap in there in order for that to lock in place. If you guys can see it, this is the final product right here. Uh, you have your drawers in here. You got plenty of space in the top. And then when you wanna lock them, it locks both of them in. You can see this, that he's not gonna be able to open it, try to open it. They're completely closed. Now unlock it. There you go. Let's take the key off. I like the keys. The keys are transformable. Look at that. Also, too. We're gonna measure from there to there. It's about 29 inches, all right? And then we're gonna go with the width. 30. 30. If 36. you guys it's 36, if you guys can see. Almost 36. It's probably a little off, but plenty of space. It's lighter because we built the whole thing and the box is heavy, but we're gonna see the space inside so you guys can see a little bit more of the space. On the space, you got these dividers. These are actually for hanging your actual file cabinet, but they give you stabilization in here. Just follow the instructions on how to set these up, how to open as a butterfly, the top and the bottom, and you get the drawer. Now they do give you two larger screws and that's for the back. If you don't want this to tilt over, if it gets a lot of heavy weight, let's check out the back where you have to see this. On the back of it, you have the screws holes here. 
They give you thicker screws so you can put this against any kind of backing. Make sure you have a good solid backing before you do that part. Uh, the the cab file cabinet, they do sell different colors. They give you this additional thing so you can put your card in here so you can put file in the cabin names. Uh, you can put labels and so forth. You cannot open both of them at the same time because if you have file cabinets forward, it's gonna tilt the whole system over. So if you try to open the top, it's locked. You have to close the bottom one first and then you will be able to open the, the top. So that's very important for anybody that wants to open the file cabin. You have heavy weight, you gotta keep, you gotta tilt the weight back too. So you gotta balance it out. That's very important, crucial. Don't try to open them both at the same time. It's a safety mechanism. So I hope you guys enjoy the video.